Hello everyone, welcome again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today we will see how to do a layer stack. What is a layer stack? Let me explain very briefly. When you get a raw image from a vendor or from a website, it is not in the form of the image what we have been seeing or working so far. The raw image is generally a set of a number of bands. Each band will be in grayscale that is black and white. The color image what you have been seeing is a combination of three different bands. So to get the desired final output you need to stack all the layers of that particular image. Let me first show you how a raw image looks like. Let me open a Landsat image band number 3 which will be a black and white image in the grayscale. When it is in combination with others, it is of course a color image. This is the Landsat band number 3 that is grayscale. So the particular image what I am working on has 12 bands that is the latest version of uh, Landsat that is Landsat 8. Let me start with the practicals as to how to layer stack these images. First you go to the interpreter and uh, click on utilities. There you will get an option called layer stack. Please click on that and select the input image. Go to the recent and open it. You will have a set of uh, 12 images that is listed here. You may or may not select all the images that is all the bands. You can select only those bands that you feel is important. For the purpose of this particular exercise to make you familiar let me select all the bands. You select one band and click OK. That will select a layer. Click Add button that will add that particular band into this space. Now you select the band number 2. It is added again. The similarly I will add all the bands. Always better to add the bands in the number what you want it to be. That is better always give it in the increasing order. Once you have added all the images or only those uh, bands which you want, please define an output file which will be the layer stacked image. That is that particular image will have all the layers in one single image. I will put the name as layer stack. Press OK twice and uh, let me tell you one thing uh, when you open an image make sure that you change the format to TIFF by default it will always be IMG format whereas whenever you get a satellite image generally it is in the TIF format if you make it uh, only IMG format no image will be highlighted that you have just selected ok now you define an image the output that can be either in IMG format or it can be in the TIF format. I'll uh, keep it in the IMG format. I'll give the name as layer. Okay, I have already defined the output file. Now you just click OK. Your process starts. It will take uh, some time, of course, as uh, it has uh, close to 12. 
your process is just initiated we'll just wait and there you go your uh, model uh, has uh, completed the process you can uh, press ok do not be under an impression that it takes uh, less time it takes a uh, hell a lot of time as it has uh, 12 bands or so in this case I have just edited and deleted the part that uh, is getting processed from the video to reduce the length of the video it might take uh, up to 30 minutes to complete the process anyway we'll open the result and uh, compare with the one of the bands I'll go for recent open the layer stack and open the image again I'll do a right click and fit image to window and this is the image that you have now is the color image you can go to raster go for band combinations and change the band the way you want it you can take uh, one two three or two three four it gives you different colors three four five if you go for five four three this will give you the normal image that we have been uh, doing that is uh, RGB this image will uh, show you that uh, just click OK, okay and uh, this image will show you the vegetation as red water in its own color and this is the image just compare this image with the any band say band number 5 of the same image you will realize what is the difference selecting different band combinations you can do different uh, analysis and uh, for different models like NDVI or whatever model you want it will be using the different uh, bands from the same image there you go these are the images pre-processing and post-processing and that's all about uh, layer stack